Standing on Whithorn lies Ad Candida Casa, established over 1,700 years ago by a man on a mission. His name was Ninian, and he was to spread the word of God. At that time, Scotland, as we know it today, was not a Christian country. It was more a scattering of Celtic kingdoms, with Whithorn being in the region of the Kingdom of Benicia. So who was Ninian? What is left by and dedicated to him? That is what I'm going to find out. We don't know exactly when Ninian was born, but it is a popularly held belief that he was the son of a British king. When he was a young man, he was sent to Rome to study the faith. And after many years of studying, he was eventually consecrated a bishop. With his newly acquired knowledge, Ninian returned to Britain. His mission, to spread the word of God and to bring his light to the dark edges of the world. Returning home, he met St. Martin of Tours. Now, Martin must have understood the importance or recognized the ability and capacity within the young man for he sent with him masons so that he could have a church built of stone to stand forever. This chapel stands as a symbol of his dedication to the Almighty. Ninian's mission was to convert and spread the gospel as far and as wide as he could, and he was very successful, for he was the first Christian missionary to bring the word of God to these lands. The lands that he operated in were the lands south of the Mount, which are known today as the Grampians. And the people who lived there are known nowadays as the Picts. These were pagan when he arrived. And where he preached, they became Christian. Ninian's message and faith spread far and wide long after his death. A perfect example of this can be found here. The Money Musk in the northeast of Scotland is established by men of God, otherwise known as Chaldees. These men were followers of St. Ninian. To this day, proof of that early Christian presence can still be found here in the church. This is from the ninth century. And we can still clearly see and understand its message. It's made from unhewn granite and has emblazoned upon it a Celtic cross. And this is proof of the power of Ninian's message. And more importantly, proof of the power of faith. These stones are so old and weather-beaten yet they still proclaim their faith and devotion. For years, Ninian preached and converted all that would listen, and he accomplished amazing things in his lifetime. He was a great man, but that's the thing. This is what he was, a person, just like you or me. And when his limited time on this earth was up, he was taken back to where he started his mission, Whithorn. He was buried near the altar within a stone sarcophagus. St Ninian may have died over 1,500 years ago, but his memory and faith live on, touching the lives of millions and impacting the church to this day.